Okay, so uh, fighting the wind today, but we're still on a mission to get this building weatherized and uh, stop all of the, uh, the weather damage that's ongoing. So uh, what I wanna do is put new window sills and then cap all of these windows here on the ground floor around in the back. So this is just a continuation of, of what I did in the front. I'm going to leave that last window kind of exposed so that uh, sunlight can come in. So uh, up front, I did the same thing and uh, I haven't had any problem with rain getting in. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on that over this uh, next few months. And if I have any problems at all, I'm gonna go ahead and finish capping them off all the way up. But uh, there's a kind of a significant overhang and it's kind of rare that, that the wind blows the rain directly horizontally in over that lip. So what I'm doing is capping the windows and then at some later point in time, all I have to do is just unscrew these uh, pieces of sheeting and uh, I'll have access to the windows again. I can uh, replace missing glass. I can sandblast the frames. I can paint them. I can do all that stuff in the future. But uh, for the moment, I'm just, like I said, trying to get the weather uh, held back. So. And there are several along here. Some of them are in better condition than others. What I noticed was, for example, uh, this one and this one, they're not too bad. Uh, and the difference between this one and say this one or the, this one is that uh, the ones that are still good had more mortar. They've just been mortared in. Uh, they had more mortar in the back, which gave them a slight slant, so the water would hit and run off. And the ones that were perfectly flat would, I guess, pool, pooled water would just kind of build up here. And uh, eventually they just got rotten. So uh, I'm going to learn from, from those that actually survived and try to do the same thing with these windows here. So it looks like three window sills can stay. That one, that one, and that one and then this has just fallen out. And then all the rest of those have to come out and I'm gonna build uh, new ones. Uh, and then once these uh, old sills are out, oh my gosh, yikes. Uh, once these old sills are out, I'm gonna have to come here with a chisel and a hammer and knock out this mortar so that I can get a fresh start. So uh, another thing that uh, I forgot to mention is that I'm focusing on the ground floor and sealing up all the windows first, all the way around the building, because uh, still having a little bit of challenge with kids trying to get into the place. It's starting to look better, but it's still got a long way to go, and kids still are under the impression that it's an abandoned building. So they're doing a lot of, you know, Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Da 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 da. I don't know the rest of the words, but yeah, they're still uh, coming in, they're doing their exploring thing, causing me a bunch of headaches. And I'm worried about it because there's, you know, a lot of liability associated with that. So, uh, fortunately, I'm installing some lights outside. The windows are going to be sealed all the way around the ground floor, and there'll be no way in the building without them being serious criminals and doing serious damage in order to get in. So, funny story. The other day, it was broad daylight. It was about, like, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I was up here uh, by the, the ceiling there on a ladder painting uh, that wall big bang from up toward the front of the building and uh i was up on a ladder so i wasn't gonna jump down i just thought oh somebody came in the front door and they'll be coming back they'll be wandering around looking for me so i'll just you know i'll yell out for them when i see them and then nothing and i thought i wonder what that was about 10 minutes later and then because basically right on the other side of this window is a street uh and I could hear some kids talking just on the other side of the uh, of this window here. And here I am <laughs> painting, and this conversation goes by, and one of them says, "No, you can't get in that way. Let's let's go around the end of the building and check out what's over there." And then I realized it was them. They tried to kick that door on the side of the building to see if they could get it open, and they were coming around. Uh, 
to look into the back of the property to see if they could make their way back into the building. And I was like, heck no. And I just scurried down that ladder <laughs> and I ran over here. And at first I thought about, oh, I should take my camera out and catch them uh, just for the YouTube channel. But uh, their voices sounded kind of young. I think they were minors and uh, I don't know what the rules are about that. So uh, I didn't record them, but I stepped right here and there they were right at the opening of that gate right there trying to squeeze through. And uh, they were young kids. I think they were maybe like 10 or 11 years old. Uh, and they were brothers, clearly brothers. Uh, one was 10, one was like 12. And I said, hey, can I help you? <laughs> In a you know booming voice. And one of them was like halfway through the gate and the other was like, uh, we lost something. I'm like, you lost something? I just heard your conversation from clear down the end of the road all the way down here. And so I explained to him that uh, I've had a lot of break-ins, and but now somebody owns the property and I'm working here every day. And uh, if they could please, you know, pass the word around that uh, this place isn't uh, an amusement park anymore. So, yeah, and uh, they tried to deny it at first and then they were like, yeah, you got us, you got us. So... <laughs> Uh, they didn't look like the kind that were going to cause any real trouble. Uh, but uh, as you saw from the video clip earlier, there's some older kids that they do damage. So uh, the good news is I've almost got the entire building all the way around on the ground floor uh, sealed up. And so that's the reason for today's video. I just want to kind of finish up over here on this side and uh, the building will be a lot more secure. Are they gonna fly away? What are they gonna do? Okay, so I'm trying to, uh, as I cap these windows, pull out some frosted ones that I can use up front. I got some great advice about uh, frosted spray that I can put on clear glass. Uh, and a lot of people mentioned that the old putty has bad stuff in it. So uh, I got my mask and uh, I'm gonna try to save as many of these little squares as I can. I'll tell you what, I've never been so tempted to break a dang window in my life. Ugh. So they got these, you know, this putty that is really hard to get out. And then these wire staples in there that, uh, when you put the pliers on them, the, the glass chips and breaks. And uh, I just spent about 30 minutes and it is not working. So what I'm gonna do is Punch out all these metal and wood squares and uh, try to focus on those as the places to attach the, the sheeting on the outside. Uh, and then as a secondary option, the windows that are already cracked and some point down the road when I hire somebody, that's going to be their job because uh, I don't care much for it. <sighs> okay, so got a nasty surprise today. I have this uh, five gallon uh, bucket of barn red that I'm using to uh, paint and seal in the uh, material that I'm using to cap the windows. And uh, I bought a five gallon bucket because it was cheaper in the long run. But I, uh, I closed it up really tight last time. And this time when I opened it, it's oatmeal. And so I'm not gonna be able to use it. So uh, I thought to myself that Man, as much painting as you do, you never do five gallons at a time. And the savings is not that much. So this time when I went back, uh, I just bought a single gallon. So it's gonna be more than enough to get me by for a while. And uh, yeah, so I need to go ahead and paint five additional pieces. I have nine or 10 that are uh, painted from last time. And I need these five pieces just to uh, finish off the material and get uh, all 11 windows uh, capped and sealed, so.
Okay, so uh, it's mid-March, getting into late March, and the weather is horrible. It's uh, so cold outside, and the wind is blowing, and uh, it will not quit raining. Ugh. So uh, deep down, I know that that is not a reason to uh, put off working on the windows and getting them, uh, you know, sealed in, buttoned up, and kept off. That's actually a reason that I should uh, hurry up even more. So, uh, yeah, trying to find the motivation. It's uh, horrible, horrible weather. But onward and upward, here we go. And so the problem with uh, doing my own window sills is that the dimensionality of the sills that I need are not available at the local dealers and retailers. So I'm gonna build my own from uh, two by fours, but the challenge with that is that two by fours are not S4S, so like really uh, milled down perfectly where you can get a good tight uh, seam between them where water can't get in. And so what I'm gonna do is mill them myself. So the challenge with uh, building them myself is that uh, these two by four, are not, uh, you know, like steel. They're not machined to be perfect and uh, to fit perfectly together. So they've got, uh, you know, cupping, bowing. I've got pretty good straight boards, but uh, since they're not 4S4 milled, there's gaps going on. And uh, so what I need to do is, beyond just screwing them together, I'm gonna glue them as well and that uh, will fill up any voids and not allow water to get in. I'm also going to uh, run them across uh, a couple machines so that I can get really good flat surfaces that'll join together and, and not uh, give the water any place to settle and pool and seep into the wood. So yeah, so first I need to make all my cuts. Uh, so. Actually, this whole thing is new to me. Uh, I'm just trying to emulate what I saw other YouTubers do <laughs> on DIY channels that have actual knowledge. So, uh, yeah, the first thing I want to do is cut the four pieces that I'll need uh, in order to create my first sill. Okay, so I need a really flat surface uh, on one side of the front and back board of the sill. And then the two interior boards have to have perfect sides uh, on both, both sides, right and left. So uh, the first step is to get the initial flat surface. So we're gonna run it across this planer here. Okay, so that looks much tighter now. And uh, I may run this through the thickness planer as well. Uh, at least I'll have to for the two inside boards of the sill so that uh, all, all sides join together really well. <laughs> sink the screw I've got the perfect length so uh, between the screws and the glue I think we should be pretty good and ready to paint okay so we'll let those dry tonight and uh, tomorrow we'll paint them okay we got all the window sills in and time to put the, uh, the sheeting up so I'm in a little bit of a rush today, so I'm filming a little bit less, but I definitely wanted to just stop and kind of show the step-by-step -step gradual progression in it. So, And on the front of the building, we did this window as well. Uh, previously, there was 
sheet metal on the inside of the window, so showing the frame with kind of a metal backing. But two or three occasions we came and the metal had been pushed in, so uh, we needed a more permanent solution to kind of block that off from, you know, the eyes of prying kids. So we did get that done. And uh, yeah, so slowly but surely, uh, we are getting the entire first floor sealed up on the windows. Then uh, we're gonna move into the second floor. So if you remember from the uh, video when we did the windows around front, uh, there's about two to three inches of extra space here that this four by eight sheet doesn't cover. So uh, just a little bit more to do. One last thing. And uh, yeah, there's also this little uh, problem of this kind of ugly white caulking around the, uh, the old window sills. So I'll have to get that uh, cleaned up. But one more accomplishment, one more drop in the bucket, one step closer to uh, getting the building weatherized and protected from the elements. So, uh, yeah, onward and upward. <laughs>